Welcome back to Taivala Wars. <laughs> My name is Joel and this is Rokka Alaskan Malamute. And the agenda for today is to test out my new Pomoli T1 Mini titanium stove inside this tent, see how it works and figure out how to feed it, how to control the airflow and everything to still not make this a sauna, but instead just keep it as a hot tent. And of course, trying to get some sense through this thick skull that that thing is hot and do not go near it. So. Anyway, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk a bit about channel, Taival Outdoors, what I've been doing. Uh, I haven't been necessarily super active this year on the channel. And what are the plans for the future, or at least the immediate future. And well, let's start off with this year. So um, I guess the big news item is that I became a father this year which has meant a lot of great new things for me, but unfortunately a bit less of the kind of uh, longer backpacking trips and so forth that I would have then done and taken and filmed some material for the channel. So a bit more uh, gear specific stuff probably on the channel this year, because that's still quite easy for me to film uh, regardless of what's happening in my private life. Of course, um, that situation isn't going to change anytime soon, but I have some plans uh, for a longer trip now in February. I should go for a week or so, maybe longer, to Lapland for backcountry or cross-country skiing trip with the dog. And I've been building a sled or ahkyo, as we would say in Finnish, that I will take with me, as well as this tent, of course, and the stove. So good winter, solid winter trip coming, definitely. Let's see if these pieces might be a bit too large. This is all about testing and figuring out what works and what doesn't. And while we are at it, I think we should put on the kettle and make some coffee. I still haven't figured out what would be the best way to position that stove. Should I have then stove facing the inner tent or facing either of the doors or whatever? So that's still a bit unclear. In terms of outdoor <coughs> gear, <laughs> in terms of outdoor gear videos, uh, there's a couple of bigger ones that I've been. Uh, waiting to do and the first one is about my first aid kit i recently got wilderness advanced first aid certified uh, so that was a four-day training period that i took and then afterwards i also upgraded my first aid kit and i feel uh, pretty good about the kit and, and my um, skill levels definitely have been improving thanks to that training and that material that we got so that video will come out uh, hopefully within a month and then also I've been thinking about this winter layering video uh, and I'm still a bit on the fence if I should do several shorter videos covering base layers and insulation layers and uh, kind of shells, hard shells, soft shells, shoes, socks, whatnot or should I do just one super long video that will definitely be over half an hour probably around 45 minutes or something layering clothes in the winter especially if you're active that is uh, still on the menu it's just figuring out the format for it the stove can be adjusted from back here there's a flap in the inside that can be turned as well as the intake here can be adjusted if you have any good tips about those how it should be adjusted so that it burns as slowly as possible because it is a small stove and it will go through those small pieces of wood quite fast if all the like the inlets and everything if they are open so what would be the perfect setup between the front and the back adjustments to make that wood last for a long time uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any good tips about that aha uh -huh. i remembered that this carrying case for the stove had a couple of these 
Velcro straps in it. So I rigged now the carbon monoxide alarm hanging from there and it looks like it shows that there's four degrees now, but it feels like the sensors are quite slow to react to. At least temperature sensors are slow to react to any changes and I at least hope that the carbon monoxide sensors are a lot better than the temperature sensors in it. But let's see what it says after a couple of minutes. I think our coffee is just about ready. Someone needs a coffee. 14 degrees Celsius. Not bad if it's still minus 15 on the outside, so close to 30 degree difference. Small titanium stove made of one millimeter thick titanium, so it's not the lightest weight stove there is. But it's still roughly two kilos or something. And it's fast fold, so easy to assemble even with gloves on. Only downside is those three nuts you have to screw in to have the sort of this base, base of the chimney there installed. So I'm thinking that I might actually, if I have the space, for example, uh, when putting this thing on a sled or something, I will keep that small piece attached so it doesn't fold as flat as possible, but I wouldn't have to fiddle around with those thumb screws with it. So that might be the way to go. I turned this now a bit and the input is almost closed. It's still going quite strong. So that's a nice surprise. And it's been going now for quite a while with those couple of bigger pieces that I put in there earlier. Drinking Freedom Seekers coffee, of course, which is also the perfect segue for the next topic. So I want to talk a bit about cooperations that I have with different brands and so forth. Moving on. So the co-op with Freedom Seekers coffee is ongoing. I really like your coffee and uh, as I said before, I like your podcast as well. It's a bit different from style of podcast that I usually listen to, but still been enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I've been doing cooperation with 511 Tactical Finland this year. So 2021, that cooperation is going to change a bit moving forward, but probably still going to test their clothing and equipment next year as well. And I know many of you probably watch the Outdoor Gear Review and in a recent video, maybe within past month or so, Luke mentioned that a lot of Chinese brands contact him. And you would probably be surprised to know that the situation is exactly the same for us smaller creators. Uh, I get quite a bit of contacts from Chinese companies um, who kind of funnily, they don't really advertise that they are Chinese, uh, but you can always tell they have very fake sounding names of those people who contact uh, you and whenever you look at their website it never says anywhere where the company is from but uh, some of the bigger Chinese companies have comp uh, contacted me as well uh, including Nature Hike and they are now sending me one foldable chair which I wanted to test out how well that would work with this hot tent setup uh, but they wanted to send a bunch of other things as well, like tents and things like that. But I'm pretty straightforward. I'm, I said to them that, no, I'm not interested. I have one tent like this. I'm not interested in having like three different kind of tents just for the sake of making a free review for you. And now I have, you know, these useless tents sitting around. And I've been saying no to quite many brands and I'm just not doing this channel actively enough that I would be interested or, or want to bother contacting brands myself and asking that, hey, could we do some kind of cooperation? Instead, for example, this tent, this stove, I purchased with my own money uh, because these are like things that I really wanted to invest time and money into and uh, use these. And as you have seen, for example, my first impressions video out of this tent, uh, it's not pretty. I 
found very quickly a lot of things that they could have done better with this tent. And that's one of the things as well. And every brand that I've worked with, I've always said that, you know, there. if you want to work with me, be prepared that I will give my honest review and you cannot change that. And for example, when I reviewed the Nightcore HC65 headlamp, you could tell that when I published the video and sent them the link, that the <laughs> account manager wasn't super happy about it because I wasn't happy about the headlamp. Let's let's face it. Um, perhaps they used to just people, you know, praising products that they receive for free and stuff like that. And I said that some of these things in this headlamp doesn't make any any sense. In fact, they can be dangerous if you're trying to use them in so-called tactical situations where they advertise that headlamp to be, you know, uh, a viable option. So. That's why many brands, uh, you know, I I say, well, first of all, I say to many brands that this, this thing that you're trying to offer me has nothing to do with the things that I do on the channel. I've been offered swimwear, uh, sunglasses and whatnot, and I've been saying, you know, no to all of those and all of all, all that stuff. And, and then I, if I do accept something, First thing that I say is that, you know, I my reviews are real and I won't be saying good things about you just because you sent something to me. And I have to, you know, mention that, for example, 511 Tactical Finland, my cooperation with them has been great. We had the same discussion when we started and they said that, okay, they are really to, or they are willing to, you know, take a chance. They believe they're in their stuff and I've been reviewing them then. I've been mentioning if there is something a bit off uh, regarding some of their products and, and so forth. So, but generally speaking, I've been, been liking their uh, clothing and equipment and hopefully I get to test some winter stuff that is brand new for 511 uh, this winter then. So yeah, there will be some kind of cooperation videos coming in the future. Probably not a ton uh, because I just... I want to do my stuff and, and it's always kind of an extra burden when, when, when you have to review something. And the other thing is that I tend to use gear and clothing quite a long time before giving my review. And that's another thing that companies don't like. They want to send you the product, you then testing it maybe once, making a review, putting it out there. But I might test a product for a year and then doing a video about it. So, you know. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm not a great partner <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> sponsorships and things like that. But, you know, you have to keep it real to yourself or uh, especially uh, on my part, because this is just a hobby. This is a small channel. I just film stuff that I enjoy doing and, and, and enjoy wearing and, and so forth. So let's keep it like that. If I ever stray from that, remind me that I've, I've said these things. See if we open this. Seems to be quite a nice bit of coals there. Maybe this and let's test this one as well. This is quite a chunky boy. Let's see if there is enough heat to get that going. If not, then you know it's not the end of the world. Welcome. Hey. Just then. Goodbye. 17 degrees now, according to that. Crazy. A bit more coffee. Now to the last topic that I wanted to mention. Uh, a bit on the similar vein of this co-ops and things like that. Um, this is a small channel, so it's not like I'm raking in huge sums of money from ad revenue. And that's completely fine. I know many of you use ad blockers and things like that. So do I. So I'm not expecting, uh, you know, massive things to happen in terms of ad revenue. And that's, that's completely fine. Whatever little I get monthly, I, you know, just... It goes to grocery shopping <laughs> and things like that. Every now and then I make a purchase, for example, this titanium stove. That was a bit easier one to make due to that that kind of uh, extra income, I guess. But I will launch channel membership. 
that has been actually i've already made every setting and everything to that ready maybe two or three months ago but i just haven't got around to do it it felt kind of alien topic but then i saw i guess many of my finnish viewers know esa from keloja luonnosta made a video where he explained that the channel membership is not about additional perks but it's just a way of providing a bit bit of money you know that couple of euros per month to a creator that you like and uh, as a show of appreciation and so forth i think that's a good way of thinking it i'm definitely not interested in that in terms of making more money and giving some kind of special status to some people who might join the membership but instead it's just an option for you if you so choose to then become a member i'm also launching website <laughs> a very simple wordpress wordpress site where i'm just publishing all my videos to but the main benefit for you will be that i will also be sharing uh, gpx uh, files so gps trails of my trips including my old ones so you can see where i'm being and download those files for yourself and use those in your own gps or your phone if you so choose to and you can go visit the same places as i have been people tend to ask for those every now and then in the comment section but there hasn't been a really a sensible way for me to share those but now i'm launching the website hopefully in january so you guys can access those through there i will also have a section there uh, which probably will be called something like gear that i trust that's another thing that gets asked a lot like what are the do you recommend this or do you recommend that so i can just make one page listing all the gear kind of my essentials not all of my gear but my essentials what i consider to be uh, something that i would take with me almost on every trip and just list those there have links to my own video reviews and then possibly if i bother and get it done then i will add some uh, probably like amazon affiliate links or something i know many channels have like gazillion affiliate links uh, in every video description and things like that and i'm not a big fan of that at least for myself so sorry the dog is trying to dig a hole through the ground um, you know malamutes being malamutes um but yeah so i will just have those links there if someone wants to purchase some of my equipment through or the equipment that i like and have been using through amazon i get a little kickback it doesn't cost anything extra for you i know all of you know how affiliate links work so so that's that so not nothing nothing crazy like that just i truly believe that the website is more to help you guys than it is to help me and let's let's keep it that way looks like the bigger pieces got going just fine i'm quite impressed about this little stove not so impressed about this dog poke. so as a summary channel will continue there will be new videos new gear videos skill videos um, one longer trip at least coming in february proper winter trip several days in the lapland wilderness and cross-country skis i i'm very much looking forward to that uh pomoli t1 mini titanium stove fast fold model uh, second time using it seems uh, pretty impressive and definitely opens up new opportunities for me channel membership is coming but let's keep it simple it's just a way for you to support me if you want if not that's completely fine i'm not looking to make this um, a business i'm just trying to film stuff that i like you know going outdoors backpacking all the stuff that's number one always for me making videos and things like that that comes second for many creators it's the other way around and i think when that happens they've sort of lost what was meaningful originally if that makes sense to me it's about being in the nature doing these things and 
whenever I feel like it, I'm taking camera with me, filming stuff for you guys. And let's keep it that way. I'm launching a new website. Stay tuned for that. Very basic stuff, but it will have GPS trails. It will be having a list of gear that I trust, that I use. And um, kind of a maybe easier archive of all my videos to find a look for. And of course you can comment and all that stuff over there as well as usual anyway thanks everyone everyone who has subscribed to my channel everyone who has been watching my videos especially this year we've been growing quite uh, nicely i think we're around 9,000 subscribers which means that we will be around 10,000 early next year so early 2022 and probably let's commemorate that we uh channel's first live stream so 10k live stream coming up hopefully sooner than later cheers everyone cheers